Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. First and foremost, as always, I would like to thank you guys for all of the support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, in today's video, I do have a review for you guys. Now, if you have been up to date and checking out my previous videos, you'll know that I just built me a PC. And the motherboard that I am using is the B450 DS3H V2. Okay, so I will be giving you guys a review and the pros and cons a little bit on that. Now, in today's times, you know, when it comes down to building a PC, Prices of these parts do fluctuate quite often. Now, I was able to snag this one for $79. It was $86.50 after taxes. So it is very affordable when it comes down to motherboards because the one that I did have at first, which was a B550 Gaming Plus by MSI, it was $158.99. It was like $172 or $174 after taxes. So this is super affordable compared to a whole bunch of options out there. Now, this is what the box looks like. Okay, again, the B450 DS3H V2. Okay, it is a micro, so it will fit in almost any case that you will get out there. The case that I am using is the H510 by NZXT. I will be dropping the links to my case and this motherboard down in the description below. Again, I got this for $79, $86.50 after taxes. Okay, so super affordable. Now, some of you guys may be wondering how come I swapped from the Gaming Plus to this one. Now, with the Gaming Plus, I was planning on getting the Ryzen 5 3600. Again, it is it is kind of complicated getting processors and stuff like that because so many people are building PCs now. So I couldn't get my hands on the 3600. So what I ended up doing was getting a Ryzen 3 3200G, okay? Now when it comes down to the Ryzen 3 3200G, it is not compatible with the 550 Gaming Plus. So I ended up doing a little backup plan and swapping out and getting this one. Now, when it comes down to this motherboard, it is actually pretty good if you're trying to Future proof. Future proofing really does not exist because things change so much. They're always releasing newer and more updated versions of technology. So when it comes down to future proofing, there's only so much you can do. But with that being said, this motherboard is compatible with 1000, 2000, and 3000 series Ryzen's. Now, when it comes down to like the Ryzen 7 and the Ryzen 9, you may have to do like a little BIOS update. Do not quote me on that because there are some people out there saying that this motherboard works fresh out of the box. If you go to Newegg, they are compatible, okay? So you may or may not need to update your BIOS. Only you will know whenever it is time to, of course, build your PC. But for the most part, when it came down to my build, it worked fresh out of the box with my 3200G, so I had no problems whatsoever. So if you are looking to kind of future-proof your build, quote unquote, got to do that because there's no such thing as actually future proofing. But if you are trying to build something that can last you for a good little while, you may not have to swap this bad boy out. This is the way to go. Again, 1000, 2000, 3000 series off the bat, you're good to go fresh out of the box. Okay. Now I guess I'll just go ahead and get into the pros. So when it comes down to the pros of this motherboard, I guess one pro is that it is a micro. So with it being a micro, it can fit in basically any case. All right. You will not have any problems. So whatever case that you are looking at, more than likely this will actually fit with no issues whatsoever. Price is another pro. Again, $86.50 after taxes is not that bad at all. If you go in Best Buy, you're looking at 160 and up, okay? And it's even motherboards out there that are like, you know what I'm saying, in the 200s, almost $300, if not $300 and more, okay? So when it comes down to only having to spend $80 on this bad boy, I mean, you just cannot beat it. It is one of the cheapest motherboards you will get that can still run older stuff and newer stuff, okay? And I mean, another pro, it basically does everything that you will need it to do, okay? I'm not just like a super computer guru or whatever. I, like, I am a beginner. That's how come I am making this video, just to help you other guys that may be in my shoes that, you know, trying to learn as you go. So it basically does everything that you need it to do. Now, you cannot build anything super crazy, but I'll end up touching on that in the cons. So now on into the cons with bringing that up. You can't build anything super crazy because this only can support up to two fans. Like I said in my last video, I actually have two fans that came in my case. And I have, of course, my CPU fan. Only the CPU fan and my top fan is working because I have nowhere else to plug up my third fan. So that could be one con. So if you're trying to go, you know, I'm saying fans all over the place to light it up completely and just have a very aggressive, like dope looking PC, you won't be able to run that with this one because, I mean, you just can't plug up all of those fans. All right. The most fans you can honestly have is like two. 
Now, another con is also, this does not have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So with me, I'm honestly not even worried about Wi-Fi. That is another reason why I ended up getting this because I'm running straight ethernet. So if you are concerned about having Wi-Fi capabilities, then this one is not for you. You will have to spend a little bit more and get another model that does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. With me, I'm just not worried about the Wi-Fi part. But for some people that is like a make or break deal. And I guess a con would be for people who are trying to build something like super crazy. This may not just support it, okay? So if you're trying to get like the newest Ryzen 7s and the new Ryzen 9s or whatever, you will not be able to run this because it's just not compatible. I'm talking about the ones that are not, you know what I'm saying, one through 3000 series. I'm talking about the people who are trying to run like Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9s, like, you know, 5000 series and up. Of course, it's it's just not gonna work with this one because it just does not support it. So if you are trying to build like a straight up beefy PC that can do, you know what I'm saying, gaming, video, like almost anything in the world, then this would not be the motherboard for you. This is more so for the people who are like beginning and trying to do just, you know what I'm saying, like some light gaming, video editing, nothing that's just super crazy, okay? This is a very entry level motherboard, all right? Just to keep it all in a short story, all right? If you were building your first build, just like me, uh, this is the easiest way to go. Overall, honestly, my PC was only like $484 and that's like after taxes. So well under $500, I got this PC built. It works like a charm, it runs like a champ. So I honestly cannot complain with this motherboard. And I mean, again, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is only a $79 motherboard. You cannot beat that. You go in Best Buy, you're easily about to spend upward towards $200, if not more. And if you go online, same thing. Like you can go on Amazon, they're still gonna hit you for, you know what I'm saying, 150, 200. So this is super entry level and it is super durable and super affordable, okay? Especially durable, because I'm not gonna lie, I dropped my thing probably like three times, okay? So with me dropping it and it's working perfectly fine, hey, I don't know, I dropped it hard too, because I, I really wasn't paying attention to, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of like rushing a little bit to do what I was trying to do, but you know what I'm saying? Like pressing stuff on it, I was putting a little force behind it and it'll flex with you. Like it is pretty durable, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. Uh, that is my review on the B450DS3HV2 motherboard. Again, it is a micro, so this can fit in almost any case that you may like or you may want. It has enough ports to get the basics in there. You can't do anything super beefy. It is super affordable. It is super durable. In 2021, in today's times right now, I feel like you just can't beat it. You need to go ahead and snag it. It works for most of the CPUs that are out currently. Overall, you just can't beat it, okay? Just being honest. Now, there's probably some people out there that are like super computer gurus and know way more information about this than I do, but I'm just making this review off of my experience and basically I'm just learning as I go, just like a lot of other people out here. So look, even if you don't want it, at least check it out and look into it, especially if you are building your first PC, at least look into it, go on Newegg and just, you know what I'm saying, see what's compatible with it, see what you could do to it and everything and basically just build you a cheap PC. But if you don't wanna build you a cheap PC, hey, that's you, that's your money, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But with me, I built my whole PC well under $500 with this bad boy. So, hey, look, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.